Hey, what's going on? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another episode of Grayscale. Yeah, you see the back of my cleanly shaved head. Okay, um, there is a, um, um, a, a, a lady that sent two, paint, two pictures, two photos. Um, she would like to learn how to paint them. Um, I guess I'll take um, one of them and I'll do uh, an example of it. Now this one requires perspective. There's a few ways to actually um, approach this painting. There's a few ways to approach any painting, but specifically with one that has as much um, detail as this one. Um, it's a very interesting perspective shot. Um, it's of a pier. All right. Um, I guess what I'll do is, is I'll just um, explain and sketch it out um, with the with the uh, about the perspective. Okay. I can show you what the pier actually looks like here. Just bring it upward. And uh, well, that's it right there. You you know I, I, you got my reflection or whatnot. But that's if I move back a little bit. That's the actual shot. Of course, you're not gonna see this detail. But there's actual wood planks and wood grain and the whole nine yards with that. Okay, all right. Um, but when you approach a painting like this, I can have the actual picture on the side. It'd be in this area here where the ruler is, so it'll block my head. You'll see what the actual photo looks like. All right, but um, let's say I wish I had a long enough ruler. I'm just gonna have to do it this way. We're gonna go a little, a little, a little, oh, a little higher than the, um, a little higher than the half mark. Okay, and we'll just do a nice um, line right across, just like this. Nice line. You may or may not see that line. Okay, that's going to be the horizon line. Okay. Here would actually be oh the way she's got it the way she's got it um photographed it's a little past the center line which is good it's vaguely past so that's where that little x i'm gonna put a little circle there you, you may or may not see yeah you can probably see that little x right there okay now the pier basically goes like right right there towards that uh towards that line so what I'll do is two little little hash marks right here on the opposite side of the X okay now I'm going to expand this this pier I'm gonna draw off the tape I'm gonna go right to where that hash mark is okay I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side where the hash mark is all right now how i'm basing this to be honest with you is the um just like that how i'm basing what i'm doing right now is basically how much well you guys can't see it but land to water I'm ratio gonna go from the tallest i'm gonna mark off the tallest post on one side Okay, the post itself is in, uh, obviously it's in perspective. Okay, and I will, like I said, I'm gonna mark off where the, I would feel the tallest one is. And I'll just put the line a little bit below, a little bit below where the, um, that's the center post at anyway. And then the other post is pretty much a 90 degree angle okay I can just have this one come right off the page it's all right all right I'm gonna do the same thing here it's gonna come right off off the page 90 degree angle this is gonna be the tallest post now since I already had that marked off I'm gonna mark it off on the other side they they're perfectly matched as a matter of fact okay and I'm gonna go straight down with this fella well before I do that let's uh, clearly mark off where it would be down here okay and then I will take my ruler and make sure it's the poor thing is straight 
and I'll mark it right off right in here. Okay, right there. So at least I got the two posts, one on each side. I'm a very, very lightly mark off the bottom. Okay. And when I mark off the bottom like that, I'm going to go across. Very light line. And I'm going to mark off on the other side exactly where it would be. Everything will meet towards that X. Okay. Everything meets towards the X. These are kind of thin um, posts. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a slight line on each one of these guys. Now these are our closest to us. Thin line here. And now I'm gonna go on the top. Everything meets, remember, right toward that line. Okay. Now I'll probably do the first couple like this. Because it's time consuming. All right, I'm gonna erase any extra stuff. Because it's time consuming, I'm more than likely speed up the tape, but I'll do the first couple like this. Okay, I'm just erasing some of the pencil lines because I don't really need them. And the paint's gonna cover them anyway. Okay, now this is the easy part. Because the, um, the first, looks like the first three have has a uh, like a guardrail. Then the rest are just empty posts going straight into seemingly oblivion. All right, but now I have a nice follow line that I really don't need to go to that X. All I have to do is draw a very faint line. Okay, right from here from the bottom, and just go on, just draw it faintly right to where the X is. This is my guideline for the, the line up the rest of the post. The rest of the post is easy as pie. Okay. Now, the um, the planks themselves, the, the first three, go. they actually start right at the top of the first post. Okay, and so I'll just do it and I'm gonna match it up on the other side so I don't have to do a lot of guesswork. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, match up at X the other one right about here okay now that's where the other post is on top of that plank okay the plank is actually on the inside which is fine I'm gonna do the same thing just like you did the first post once you get the concept of this is relatively simple it just takes a little time it's time consuming like I said now you already got the relative distance for the inside of the post already Okay. Oh, that right. This one's a little, a little bit below, which is fine. There. Okay. And I can erase all of, all of this. I don't need that guy lying there. I don't need this guy lying right here. Okay, these posts are a little, you know, a little on the thin side. But I'm gonna continue the plank, the, 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 the little not planks. They're um, like I say, they're like little, what you would call um a little handrail type of thing. I'm gonna have it go extend past the pole a little bit and continue off the page because that's what this one does. Continues off the, right off the page, which means I can erase this, erase this. Okay, there's a reason why I'm doing it like this also. Yeah, my pencil just fell straight out of my hand onto the floor. And I don't see my other pencil. Yeah, I do. There it is right here. It's right about here. I'll just freehand it right there. So I can actually... No, I don't want to get rid of that. I know where it is. Actually, yeah, I can't get rid of that. I don't need that no more. So I'm getting rid of this. I'm just gonna mark, let's put this, let's put this here, the 90 degree angle spot here. I'll put it, right, I'll just put it right there. Do the same thing on the other side real quick here. My paper is actually bowing on me and that's, that's fine. 
We're gonna go right from that X and we're gonna continue that little post, protrude it out, go right across right past the tape, do the same thing here on the other one. Get your pers make sure you get your perspective right also. And it's right here. I can erase erase this, erase this. That blue that I have on this paper that I primed the paper with is like a craft paint sky blue, but I use Floetrol. I use Floetrol, the uh, craft blue, and some white, the craft paint white, which gives me this light bluey, greeny type of thing. Okay. All right. Uh. I know what I did that was kind of uh, backwards. And I had to correct that when I did this. Okay, because I got, even I got confused. I have to get rid of this. It was my fault. I gotta get rid of one side. I jumped the gun on myself. But it's an easy correction, especially on, when it's in the penciling stage. I jumped the gun. Okay, this is what I forgot to do. I forgot to make the uh, the, <laughs> the actual first side of the post, the post that's nearest us. Here we go, and it's thinner. Now I can take it and go across like that, and then get my finger out of the way. There, I just forgot to uh, add the. Uh, the one side of the post, which is my fault. My bad. It's a mistake. That was a little perspective mistake, no big deal. Easy fix. Now, the reason why I'm taking such care in doing this also is that, uh, and I'm doing it kind of dark, okay, and I'm erasing a lot because I'm gonna mask a lot of this. It just makes it easier for me, to be honest with you. Okay, that's the uh, first two for the planks, okay, that I have. The planks are um, relatively thin, but they do have an underneath, an underside to them. Very thin though, and I can, t I can take care of that on the, uh, when it comes to actually painting them. Okay, there. I'll just keep them at two. It's just easier for me for right now. Because this would be an incredibly time consuming painting. God, dog it, if I did that, did it that way. Okay, but I got the guidelines for the rest of the poles. Okay. Which are also evenly spaced. Okay. Um, and they will get smaller and smaller as you as you go down, but I'm gonna just sketch them Lightly sketch them out. I'll probably just paint these in um, When I get when I get really into it the reason why is because it's gonna take forever to try to tape all that off and Put water in between all that so I'll just do these mask off and um I'll, I'll put those in later, but the horizon line will never leave. Okay, even if I paint it over it, the horizon line will still never leave because of when I tape all of this. The planks here are the yeah the pier. The pier is um also in perspective, where the biggest amount of the pier, okay, is like going across really really large right now especially the first few but as you do them okay they get smaller and smaller as you go toward the to, uh, the horizon line they get smaller the spaces between them get less and less okay they get really 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 tiny as you keep going which is what I'm doing here they keep going smaller and smaller into oblivion. But the planks are, yeah, they're planks. The separation between them get darker, 
big, big swipes of dark. And then this tape is coming up here. Big swipes of dark. And yet it, it becomes a fine line when it gets up toward the, toward the, the, the pier itself. Now, she, that this picture has so many of these, these docks, these, 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 these logs coming up out of the water, especially horizontal wise. Okay, but that goes into the detail also. Cause there's like a, a, um, as I'm looking at it, it looks like a, a row of trees, really, back there. The row of trees are like all in here. You know, that, that nice row of, and because they're back there, the, 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 uh, the stump, the, the logs coming out are actually taller than, than the row of trees. It's pretty much kind of laid out for you in the photo. Okay, and this is basically your, your your painting right here. Okay, like I say, I'm not gonna paint it all those posts because it's gonna this video will take quite a while to do. But now what I'm gonna do is I gonna, I'm gonna take this two inch tape. I will mask off the pier itself. Everything else I'll paint the the, the pier. When the rest of the painting is done, the pier will be the only thing not painted so we're going to paint everything else and we're going to paint it like this thing didn't even exist hey welcome back all right let's zoom in for a second here yeah i got a little green spot that's all right that'll be covered up like immediately all right look you see i taped it off measure uh two inch wide uh masking tape and i taped it off okay just what needs to be taped off okay um I'm gonna add the sky in, obviously. Okay, this blue is just a little guide because we're gonna cover that too. All right, um, it'd be a bluish purple up here. It's gonna go into this kind of yellow orangey color here. All right, um, and it'd be that kind of color down below too. Like I said, the, 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 the sun itself is, is monstrous um, for a sunset. I think it's a sunset because of the purple blue. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna um, get ready to work on it. And it's not gonna be as much paint as you would figure it would be. Okay, the reason why I I um, did the, this color in its bluish tone like that, this real light blue tone, um, it will kind of like set the atmosphere for what kind of colors that are involved in the painting. Um, and not necessarily mean that you're gonna see every bit of this this light blue. You're only gonna see a little tinge of this blue. Okay, everything else will be um, faded in. Okay, I'm gonna take. We're gonna get started with this. I'm gonna take some. What I use is vegetable glycerin and shampoo mix. It's a nice extender. Um, it helps blend really well. Okay, which is another reason why, because I'm on 11 by 15 inch watercolor paper. Okay. And so as I'm talking to you, I'm going to start to put this very sticky stuff on here. When it gets in contact with the air, it kind of um, liquefies. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. And this is all I need, which you, which you see me doing right now. I'm going to take the small amount of purple, real small. Let's take a softer brush per se. Um, well, let's take this filbert, that little filbert here. And we're gonna, we're gonna deal with this yellow. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of that white in the yellow, just like that. And we're gonna, we're gonna have a little, a little powwow with this sunlight here, right around in here. Just like this, in a circular motion, just like that. And as I'm doing, I'm gonna round, I'm gonna slightly round it off, real soft touch though, right here on this on this sun area, just like that, and lightly, 
lightly cross that back and forth just like that tighten that up a little bit but it's very blurry okay get a little bit of white plop that just up in here a little bit just like that and once again very light extras just like that I'll give the roundish impression that we got something kind of glowing there keep going in a round type way and fade it just like that okay give them a little more of a peak here up, up top and just round it off just like that all right okay a little touch of yellow nothing but straight yellow right up in, on top above the above the sun a little bit up in here now as I'm doing this remember I'm gonna get my soft brush and we'll blend some of this okay so have no fear don't panic take a very soft bristle brush like this guy very soft blend it very soft um, I'm gonna blend it right out here to blur that out smooth it out there a little bit just like that circular motion very blendy don't worry about it just like that and a little back strokes back and forth here kind of soften some of that now some of this paint is starting to dry up a little bit and it's fine that's fine just like that okay and I'm going to lighten up I'll use it with the blender brush I don't particularly like dipping my paint in the blender brush too much I'm gonna just give us a little bright spot right there in the middle here just like this and just softly we're gonna blend all of that soft blend circular motion keep going into circular motion half on the tape half not there we go and get a nice little spot going right up in there okay now I gotta really clean this blending brush out and we're gonna play with the clouds next I don't know what I do with my rag I'm probably sitting on it I'll just get a brand new one it's no big deal okay let's play with the clouds here the clouds aren't all fluffy super white um, not at all actually I'm gonna take a um, fan brush I'm gonna get as I'm looking at the clouds here I'm gonna get a little bit of the brown yes I, I, I'm using brown brown a little bit of the phthalo blue in that brown and some white yeah you heard me right brown the blue and the white which is going to kind of gray this out okay I know it's an odd mixture for clouds but trust me I'm using one corner of the fan brush actually and they start um particularly around here on the edge here I'm just gonna tap it me it taps into the clouds a little bit into the Sun and then it gets a little little thicker up in here and we're just gonna play around with it it comes up above in here right where the separation is I'll put some up in here like that and we'll continue that like that we have one up here I'll just push him a little bit forward here just like this just a just a tap put you up there okay just tapping it along just like that now as you see me doing the tapping thing okay there's even a little bit of one here but it doesn't really connect into the Sun but there's one there all right and I'm gonna get some yellow and mix the yellow in a little bit with that white so 
getting it a little white on the corner here. A little bit of yellow with that white. Mix it right in. And maybe the tiniest hint, the tiniest, tiniest hint of red in there. You don't need much red. Please, trust me, believe me, <laughs> you don't need much red. On the bottom, on the bottom, right here, because the sunlight's hitting from the bottom. Okay, but we're going to add a little bit of that up in there like this. Okay, just on the, on the bottom, the bottom fringes like that. We're going to tap some more, okay, keeping with that look right on the bottom fringe. On this fella up here, he got it on the bottom, but it's sneaking around in the front a little bit. And then the rest comes up in the, in the, on the bottom like that, just like that. Okay, all right. Just rinsing off the fan brush real quick. Take a very soft brush. Okay. And I'm going to lightly tap in where they meet. Just a light tap. And I can maybe f fluff around that top part a bit because it's still wet. I'm just tapping in where the gray and the yellow meet a little bit. Okay. I'm just tapping it in or you can circular motion whatever whatever you feel this big brush isn't really um, um, all the bristles aren't touching is what I'm trying to say smooth some of this out for this guy a little bit this guy down here too just smoothing him out we're gonna add a little highlights to this guy too let's tap some of this in right in here okay we're gonna add some more stuff to these to these fellas okay and we're gonna play around with a little bit more white I'll probably just play around with the strict white here and we're gonna just tap in a few things up around the highlight there just a few little edges there just like that give them a little bit of white just the tiniest bit of white that's all just the tiniest bit I'll just pop in some highlights on the side here just like that and I'll scramble some of that into the gray just like that getting a little bit more white add some of that down here on the bottom just like this yeah a little bit here too right now I'm just tapping it in there If I gotta go up here a little bit, I will. Just like that. Maybe a little bit back here. Okay. A little wisp of colors there. And uh, maybe the tiniest bit over here on this one side. Little impressions of some of that. I'm taking off the rest of the paint. I'll just lightly tap some of that in there. Now, be careful trying to scrumble in colors on, on a wet surface there because you don't want it to really scratch. Okay. So it's a gentle touch. It may not appear like you're doing anything, but trust me, you are. I can, I can still move this paint around. Even if you go in circular motions. Okay. But be careful because these brushes are a little abrasive so just a a very light touch will do okay now that I got those I gotta get some more white just a little touch and maybe like little almost like um, silver linings a little bit and a little bit on the top here come down like this Wiping the rest of the um, paint off the brush and circular motion, circular motions, very gentle, 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 be gentle, 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 gentle. See, you can smooth all of that out. You're not really destroying everything at all. It's just smoothing it all out. Handle everything a piece at a time. Smooth it out just like that. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of red, the tiniest, tiniest bit of red. I'm getting some uh, medium here. In with this really small amount of red. And I'm gonna 
lightly come on in put some of that red up in here like this it's okay see just like that put it all up in there a little bit around in here just like this come up into the closet this is it's a glaze don't worry about it because when it's a glaze like this you're only using a little bit okay put a little bit of red in there too and you can wipe it away wipe as much as you need to use and that's it okay because I know it's a little glaze around the Sun here don't go too hard with it because if you do you'll start wearing away the paint but that's if you use the glycerin here pop in if I can if I can pop in some more of that grayish color in there just like that up above a little bit just like this put some of that up there get a little bit of brown just like that just darken it a little bit down on the bottom I'm gonna highlight this Wave it around, wisp it around a little bit, just like that. Come on. Just like that. Clean off my flat brush. This is not typically the kind of brush I would use for the clouds at all, but it was there. Let's get to my tiny little blender brush again. And very, very, very lightly, because you can blend all this. See this? Very lightly. Look at that. Blend it right in. Move it around. Move it around. Just like that. Blend it right in together. Right here on the bottom too. Blend that in there. Okay. Take the, like I said, I don't really like going into my soft brush doing this. But for today. Look at that. See that? Put that right in. Blend it right in. Look at this. Circular motions. Put it right in there. Make them as natural as you can. Okay. Just like that. The more you blend it, the softer it gets. Okay. Just like that. There. You can soften up some of these edges down here too. soften them right in there like so okay we're gonna add the dark right by the sun and everything I remember you got the uh, you got the piers sticking out of there too so even though you're gonna add a little dark you can't make them too too dark I'm gonna lighten it up just a little hair with some white okay we're gonna put in the, these trees here remember it's dark, but not excessively dark. It will appear dark because, um, believe me, once I get this done, we're gonna put even darker stuff in front of this. So I know it appears kind of super dark, but not as dark as you think. And get some of that sunlight into your, your, your wooded area there. Don't make it one big giant blotch, okay? like that and I'm going right across there okay oh uh, yeah we're fine with this this is perfect it's gonna get even darker than that when you put the posts in but this is definitely needed okay now all right you've got a, an established water line already um, because it's a sunset you don't have um, that's real strong cast shadow of all of this stuff down here. But this waterway is mighty dark. And we're gonna play with that. We're gonna take advantage of this blue right now with that darkness. I'm taking a very small flat brush. This guy, this fella. Okay, we'll zoom in a little bit. Space him a little, a little bit. 
Okay, right now they'll start out as little dots back here, like this. Just little, make them little, little, little dots. But you want to keep them kind of horizontal. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the, the edge here. as as uh, dark if you don't want to it's really your painting it's you know really up to you but it has to be gradually definitely darker here toward the toward the back back there and it lightens up as you get toward the front all right we can actually move this up a little bit because this is this is the main focus for focal point up here okay just like that and it will make sense more and more as um uh, we get a little closer it really doesn't even have too much of a of a a really defined horizon line but what you got right now what's going on in there is actually perfect i'm going to do a little bit of creative editing right now you can do that when it's your painting i'm getting a little yellow a wee bit of titanium white mixing it in with the yellow because of that sunrise or sunset it's more about sunset than anything that's the little scrapes you hear me doing here just a little bit of paint watch this this is the creative licensing thing go right across straight as you can with that nice yellow boom get some nice water crystal-y things going across this is fun right across if you can get it get it across there put it on across right across your drawing okay might need a thicker amount to now if you're used to the palette knife this shouldn't be too bad for you okay if you're if you're kind of used to it if you're not then um get used to it no <laughs> um it just takes practice okay then right across here we can put some little kind of glowy little glowy things in there I'm just doing a gentle little swipe across don't make them all tin soldiers don't make it make it all um, and here toward where the sunlight really is you can really put it in there make it sell that illusion of that sunlight coming right across back there okay all up in here make that make it kind of kind of stand out right up in there all in here so it's more of the sunlight right where you see the sun right it will make sense yes okay like I say this is creative license you don't have to do it I think you should but creative license creative license all up to you put it right across right across this guy too just like that and we can pretty much leave it alone after that. Creative license, up to you. Okay, you don't have to do it, you know. But okay, so we pan upward. This is what we got so far. Okay. Okay. Fairly cool. I can actually get this a little bit deeper if I wanted to, but I don't think so. I think what you got is going out right now at this moment it's pretty darn good now believe it or not we can actually add the posts okay and we're gonna do that we're gonna do that right now because once you add the posts in here okay and there's a bunch of them okay the posts are only in between the tape here the pier okay and just around here. and they're taller you're gonna see them above the a little bit above the sun and everything uh, or above the tree line back there and right now this appears to be very far away because there are no no posts sticking up out of there out of the water okay so that that kind of gives that illusion of um, it being quite a quite a ways away but we're gonna make it come real close real fast all right and I really don't need um, too much dark to, okay. to sell that. 
not any big serious mathematical equation to doing this. All right, you just go a little bit above the horizon line, just like that. Put them above the horizon line. Okay, just like that. And there's a bunch of them in there, just like this. Now these you can have ten soldier like. All right, but they got to be above that tree line. Okay, above the tree line. I'm going right. Actually, let's continue around the top of the tape. It's all right. No problem. If you put your hands at a slant like I'm doing, you're going to get that kind of look. If you do it a little more diagonal, diagonal or vertical rather, not diagonal, vertical, you're going to get another type of, of look with these fellas. But as you can see, I'm going right across the tape just to show you. All right, you continue right on. But now your dock will appear a wee bit closer. Okay, just go on the other side, right here. You're going right across the sun with it too. Above the tree line, boom, bring it on in, bring it on in there. Okay, go on across the tape. Don't skip the tape. Okay, put it right on in there, it's just like that. Okay, I'm just slipping it around. Put them in there. Don't be so shy. Put them all in there. Don't be a coward. There. Put them right across that sunlight a little bit. You can reduce some. Put some a little smaller. Like that. Make sure you widen them. Okay. Just like that. Put them right in there. Just like that. Okay, go on across. Some are taller, some are not. But they go right on across like that. Okay. Now remember, you can have posts coming out of here too. Okay. All right, these little teeny tiny tiny brushes actually come in handy. You never really know what, what you may need them for. Excuse my head. All right. All right. So, so far we got all of that done. Okay, if I wanted to, and I do believe I am, well, no, I, I truly, yeah, I could get away with it, technically. I, I, I really could, if I wanted to. I could get away with what I, what I attempt to want to do, and I think I'm going to do it. The other posts that are continuations of this, I can actually do that, because they are actually even darker and thicker than what I put up in here. Okay, but I can do it. I can get away with that. I'm going to show you how right now. And I need... Actually, I can do it with a half-inch brush. I can do it with a bigger brush. All right, here we go. Don't have to use a medium. I'm just wetting up my brush. I'm getting more thalo blue into the previous dark that I have, too. More thalo blue, more brown. I can get away with this a little All bit. Right. There, right here. And they're a little thicker coming straight down just like this see I can get rid of it get rid uh, I can get away with this because one they're thicker and they're taller okay and remember as you get closer they're getting smaller and they'll get a little thinner Okay. Now the second fun part is peeling all this stuff off. So when I come back, I'm going to take that tape off and then we're going to um, do the wood grain and all that good stuff and um, finish this right off. Be right back. Hi there, hold there. Guess what? All the tape peeled back, all of it. Okay. Now, this pier is very dark okay but it does have striations of wood grain especially here not necessarily too much here it's kind of um silhouetted but here all right so i'm gonna do something that might appear to be totally crazy but there's a method to my madness i'm taking a half inch brush this guy and i am going to block the pier in yellow ochre don't judge me leave me alone 
Now the part that I know that's going to be hit by the sun a little bit is the part it's going to be kind of on yellow ochre here. Which is why you see me blocking it in. Okay, I don't have to be necessarily super exact when you're, when you're blocking in, but I am blocking it in in yellow ochre, which has a wee bit of the brown in it. And try to keep with your perspective. It just would help you out a great deal if you do that. Okay. Now, when you mask off objects like I just did with this pier, things tend to grow on you a little bit, if you know what I mean. And that's just a natural progression of things. It's okay. Okay, don't spend a billion years on it either, especially with it's an older pieces. brush. But it's a pretty decent, it's a pretty cool brush. Good for stuff like this. Okay, going into a lot of yellow ochre. No medium, just regular yellow ochre. And yes, what I'm about to do is kind of silly. Okay. As it's drying, let's get a smaller, eh, we'll go back to the half inch brush, what the hell. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of this blue and a little bit of umber, mix it in there, get some more umber into that blue. We're mixing that in right in right now. This is not with the shadow side of it anyway, so it's all good. Fairly dark, okay. Keep a keep a pretty tight edge though. When you add a little too much glaze, it, it does get it a little lighter. It's not as poignant. So, and I can tell already. So that's why I'm getting more paint right now, just to deepen that. You should be able to see the difference here. And a light touch. And you can put it right on top of the glaze there. And be careful, once you glaze up something, it takes a little while for this glaze to, to set and dry. Remember, it will, um, it will uh, prolong the drying time of the paint. You got me? Now, if I feel that it's not dark enough, I go back over it again. And see, this one's already dry. So I, all it's me doing, I'm just going right on top of it. Okay. Be careful. Light touch. If you're not, I can go this way, this half inch brush, one good swipe and take care of all of that. Whoops. You don't want that, wipe that away. It's an easy wipe away if you make a mistake going into the ochre. Don't worry about that. There, all right. As I'm messing around with this, guess what? Most of this, most of the ochre is dry. Okay, that's how fast um, that stuff can dry on you. Okay, all right. In a little bit of this here, this you can just crumble. Watch, I'll take the side of the brush. Side of a little more brown. We'll take the side of the brush here. Okay, this, because you got some sunlight coming more or less from the front, watch this. I'm taking the side of the, here, let's zoom in on this part. Here you get a little texture going. Let's go upward. Right here, this guy right here. Okay, take the side of the brush, side of the brush. Light, very light. There you go, look at that. And as you go towards the front, leave the front alone like that okay see how nicely you can get that done just like that leave it, leave it be I'm getting some more paint off the side of the brush a little more umber than than the uh, blue 
Okay. And we'll do the same thing, but going downward. Follow the grain and just aim it downward, just like this, very lightly. Just like that. They leave it be a little bit here, toward the back though. Just like that. All right, instant reflection of light. All right, okay. That's what I wanted to show you that. Okay, and we pull back. All right, now the real interesting part is uh, covering up a whole lot of this. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get that done. Now remember, all of this is dry. Okay, so massive amounts of wood grain going on here. We're gonna do the wood grain first. One big, just a, this wood grain. Okay, now I can approach the wood grain in many different ways. This is a fan brush I have. I'm gonna loosen up my paint. It has to be kind of loose. Now, as far as wood grain's concerned, go off the tape, and you see that you get the striations going on here. Just like this. And I'll get some more the striations going just like that come on down here a little bit let's put them in there and I'm gonna go all the way down like this just across Uh, let's see, right about, oh, this way, and right about this way, just like that, all right, and just like this, I might have to have, uh, um, I need more umber. Right now I'm just trying to block it in with what little bit of paint I do have left. But I, I need to um, dip into some more of the umber here. So I'm just trying to block all this in while I can like that quite a quite a good deal of it is on my brush already I'm just pushing it off my brush make a nice little pile of it here all right okay um, the way I have this done all right is that the sunlight the sunlight in position to where the posts are um it, it, it's a little a little uh different okay not all of them will will show just like that a lot of freehand perspective type of deal here just like that because they do get wider towards us now it might look like a curve, that's because the paper's lifted up, but it's, believe me, it's straight. It's gonna look curved, but it's not. Just like that. But they're not all um, gonna be like this. They'll be, they'll be, they'll kind of fade out after a while. Okay, they'll, they'll just slightly kind of fade out. like that they'll, they'll just like I say they'll start to 
kind of fade out a wee bit, like so. There's really much and nothing on the on the other side here, okay. But remember, there's posts. The posts are a little longer. They're like right in here. I'm just continuing the posts on because they're like right there. And then if they get closer and closer, they get you know. Same thing here. They get a little. They're in there a little bit. Just like that. They come down. Remember they come down. I remember these little details, right? Just like that. These are already down there. But much like that. Okay. And if you want to be kind of exact, a little shadow on these guys too down there. Okay. And I'm just popping in some more little striations and all that stuff in there. Just like that. All right, something like this. It'd be the one stroke deal. This is this is a big brush though. Okay, going right across, just like this. Cause it's got to be dark on the one side, fairly dark, just like that. I'm gonna get more of the um, color on one side of the brush. Little umber, little blue, umber and blue. It has to be on one side of the brush. Fairly deep color. I'm going back into, there we go. And we're gonna do it again, right across. Like this, and go straight across. And it's gotta be a deep, dark, kind of line right, right across there. Gonna do some more of that. Just the smallest bit on one corner of the brush, back and forth, back and forth. And you're gonna do it again. Right here. Come right on across. Just like that. And we're gonna do it again. Come across and across. Get that nice streak of black in there. Keep on going. Just like that. Okay, just like, voila. Okay, we're not done yet. This is where it gets pretty good. Let's get some, and I'm gonna use the side of this brush and do it. Of course, I don't have any yellow ochre. I need one bit of yellow ochre before we call this thing complete. Let's get a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm just putting a little tab there. Yellow ochre and titanium white, all right? So I'm getting some titanium white using the side of the brush, of course. Some yellow ochre in there. Lighten it up. More titanium white, please. Okay. Both sides of the brush. Why not? Ready? Right where it's highlighted. Okay. Watch this. Look at that. Right across, right across, right across that little seam there. Put some right up in there. Brush some of that down in there like that. All right. Right where you see the sunlight hitting, like hitting. All right, we're gonna do a lot of that. Right across the seam. Remember it's wood, make it look like wood. Just like that, right across that seam. And then get a couple scrapes in there, just like that. Come across, you know, some of that sun is hitting that, right? Getting a little more of, um, just like that, let's create one. Go across, go across, just go across. See, you don't have to be necessarily too even with this because. There. Okay. We're just having a ball here right now. To get a sharper edge, you're gonna have to position your paintbrush kind of almost horizontal, um, horizontal to the page or vertical, however way you see it. And then it comes, you know, like that. 
more and more and more. But that's not the fun part. The fun part says swipe, add that grain up in that piece like that. See that? Especially up around in this corner where you know that the sun's gonna hit it. Right up in here. Okay, the sun is more or less on this one side. Get rid of, it. Get rid of that. get rid of that so in case you did a over swipe like one of those numbers don't panic because that can be easily remedied just like this yeah easy remedy right there black yeah take care of a lot of that just like so okay and you can you know tone some of that down in other spots like that. All right. Um, as I'm looking at it here, I think I'm gonna take a few more bits of creative license. Try to get a nice sharp edge if you can with your with your um, brush, and I'm gonna just tap a little bit of glowy right up in here. A little, just a little bit down in here, a little bit like that. Just a little bit. Just tap away. Okay. Even here. We're going to add a little bit of. Why not? Kind of separates those guys back there too. And then you can just add a little whatever in there. Just like so. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty slick. I'm just scrambling on some more character character stuff here. Just like that. Ha! I like it. All right. And I hope you do too. <coughs> well, I do hope you enjoyed this session. Um, let me know, believe it or not, um, it's earlier than you think. I did this pretty early in the morning. You know what? I just got rid of my, ugh, I tell you, I just got rid of my paint, right? And I needed it for my signature. <laughs> That's all right. I got some, I got some white here. White, a little bit of water. That's all I need. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. If you have any uh, questions or whatnot, just, you know, put them down there in the description. I will gladly answer them. Honestly, I will. Honest. Put the last bit of, there we go. Okay, I think that covers it. He's about as much as I wanted to be covered anyway. There we go. All right. I appreciate it, guys, that you um, check this out. You know I'm going to take this tape off, right? I don't want the image of this being <laughs> this all taped up. I'm going to take some of this tape off here. It's double tape. This this is a mess. So I got scotch tape and I got masking tape. Um, this is this is. Let's cut the paint. It peeled a little bit, or it 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 um it just didn't it didn't take to the. Uh, there we go. 
it didn't take to the uh, board really cool. But I use scotch tape because the scotch tape, when done right, it leaves an incredibly sharp border. Okay. Now a lot of it's coming off the weed is because of the X-Acto knife when I did cut the pier. It has to be expected. Okay. And some of it, some of the color bled through. And just downward because it won't stick. There we go. I'll bring it down toward toward the regular camera level here in a second. Okay, let's bring it down here. There we go. Alright. There she goes. Alright, well, there it is. Um at least my representation of it. Um probably the more realistic looking clouds I've ever well, no, I've done more like that, but this is pretty much after the uh, the photograph. Um, a lot of it deals with perspective. Okay, a lot of it's perspective. Then the rest is just light and shade. Okay, in the position of the sun and you know where the sun is. But because the sun is there, don't mean the perspective is there. The perspective is right here. Okay, so everything's based off of that, perspective-wise. Okay, not the sun is here. Okay, um, this is more than half way up this paper also, but um, well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. Um, if you like how I teach, the way I teach, you know, tell everybody. And if you don't, tell everybody anyway, like a buddy of mine says. But thank you very much. Love you. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.